Hey, Mary. Is it true that Keith is getting remarried? Why didn't you tell me? Huh? What's this about all of a sudden? Who may ask? Is this... Huh? It's me, Karen. Your brother's wife, Karen. Did you already forget your sister-in-law? Oh, yes. My former sister-in-law, Karen. You guys got divorced ages ago. Are you still telling people you're my brother's wife? Kinda weird. Forget that. Is it true? Is Keith getting married again? When did this all happen? Uh, yes, it's true. He came over the other day to announce the good news. He introduced us to his new girlfriend about six months ago, I guess. Apparently he was going out with her way before that. I can't believe he's planning on marrying without even telling me about it. I'm against it. I'm not going to permit it. Huh? I don't think he really needs your permission. Besides, do you even have the right to say such a thing? I mean, you guys are divorced. You're complete strangers now. I'm saying this for Keith's sake. And who is this chick? A girl that approaches a plain middle-aged guy? A little suspicious, isn't it? He'll regret it after he gets married. I think he should give it a pass. Uh, no, you got it wrong. She's not like that. She's the daughter of Keith's boss. She's kind of quiet and very nice. Seems like she was brought up in a loving household. You can tell right away that she loves my brother very much. Really nice person, for sure. Nothing like someone I know. Someone who goes to clubs every night to looking for guys. Then gets a divorce when she finds out she's pregnant. Completely different level. Or should I say out of her league? Daughter? A case boss? That woman is definitely after his money. I bet they're gonna make him marry the boss's daughter, quit, and take off with the company funds or something. They're going to use him and embezzle company funds. I can't believe you and your family believe this crap. Are you... describing yourself, perhaps? His boss nor his daughter are the kind of people who would do such a thing. They are not criminals. She's not the type that would go selling their own brother's stuff so that... her mother could pay off her gambling debts. Or steal and max out his credit card. Nothing like that. Completely different from someone I know. My brother's company is quick and clean. And his pay is pretty good, too. He marries her and is obligated to stay at the company. It would actually turn out to be a good thing. If he gets married, he'll change. Mug my words. Besides, Keith can't get remarried yet. As long as I'm here. You know, just because he submitted his divorce papers does not mean the marriage is over. Huh? Divorce papers are just that paper. It just means we're separated. We're still married. So that means he can't get remarried. You're still a kid, Mary. So maybe you were not too clear on these kinds of things, but... Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. You say I'm still a kid. I'm already over 21. I know perfectly well what it means to submit divorce papers. What do you mean, separated but still married? Divorce is... divorced. Maybe you should go back to grade school. Forget all that. Just tell me how I can get in touch with Keith. Keith blocked my line and I don't know his new number. Can't contact him directly. Yeah, he did switch phones several times over the years. First thing he does when he gets a new phone is to block you. Obviously, he does not like you much. Shut the hell up! Just hurry up! I will not forgive him for remarrying him. If he apologizes, Mom and I will let bygones be bygones. And I am willing to give him another chance and marry me. Tell him that. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll relay what you said. 
I'll tell Q to contact you later. So... Can you tell me your phone number and address? Yeah! Why did you just say so in the first place? I'll send that address and phone number later. Make sure he gets it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Don't worry. I'll get the info. Hey, Mary. Are you there? You did pass out my message to Keith, right? Yeah, I got it to him right away. I sent in the address and phone number you provided. Then why hasn't he contacted me? Kinda strange, don't you think? What am I supposed to do about it? Did you get anything in the mail? Huh? In the mail? He said something about sending you a letter the other day. Didn't you get a letter from him? Uh... Do you mean that folder with the documents? It said something about paying thousands of bucks or something. Figured it was some mail fraud con or something, so I threw it out right away. Don't tell me that was a letter from Keith. Oh, that's right. That's what he sent, I'm sure. Huh? That folder, those invoices or whatever they are, that's the letter from him? Is he nuts? What's this about paying him 10 or 20,000 bucks? For what? What is this money anyways? Huh? Have you forgotten? That's the divorce settlement you have to pay. Huh? Yeah, when you got divorced, his lawyer sent you papers demanding money as part of the divorce settlement. You just ignored it, blocked your line, and took off somewhere. There's no way he could contact you. Just because you refused to pay the money. Yeah? Well, that was because... I recall that period. He was frantically looking for you. There was also that problem with the debt that you created in his name. He regretted not creating a notarized deed or something. But you disappeared, so there was nothing he could do. After all, he just gave up. But then out of the blue, you appear. It's almost like you're saying, please send me that payment invoice again. Yeah, well, I admit I did run away once. We got divorced like two and a half years ago. It's too late to demand payment now. Yeah, I thought it was kind of weird too. So I checked. It says the statute of limitation for collecting payment is three years. Well, came back a little too soon. Six more months and the statute of limitations would have expired. Uh, hold on a second. I didn't contact you so I can pay. I contacted him because I heard he was going to marry some girl. I was just being considerate. I had to stop that marriage. I did it because I care for Keith. So why does he have to send those documents to me? Demanding payment? What difference does it make? You did this for him. You were worried about him. But one thing does not change. It's that you ignored the payment request and disappeared. That's what matters. I don't have that kind of money. So there's no use demanding money. I don't have any to pay him. Actually, there are various ways to pay. There is what's called a compulsory execution where the court will seize your assets or make you work it off in installments. They deduct a certain amount for your monthly salary, for example. No problem. You'll repay it in no time. Huh? Oh, yeah. No use trying to run away again. This time we're ready. We hired a private investigator to keep an eye on you. So you don't run away again. But I suppose you don't even have the money to run away anyways. Am I right? Huh? After you got divorced... That guy you hooked up with took off. You took off with your mother to avoid paying the settlement. You are apparently left with nothing. I heard about the baby you had with that guy. You put that kid in an orphanage because you couldn't take care of it, right? You moved to a new town and started working, but... All the money you earned went to your mom's gambling debts and booze. No matter how hard you worked... You cannot get yourself out of the rut. Why? Why do you even know all this? 
Like I said, I hired a private investigator. All that info was the result of his investigation. So, you were in a dire financial situation. And so you thought getting back with Keith would solve all your problems. That's why you were so against his remarrying. Yeah, that's right. So what? I'm the victim here. That guy conned me. Keith is my ex-husband. So he has an obligation to help me. So I cannot permit him to marry some chick that I recently met. He must marry me. Not the stranger he just met. Oh, I really can't understand your logic. I can understand that you've been abused by your mom, but... The rest? It's all you're doing. I mean, please. You have a baby with some guy you met at a bar. Guy dumps you. You put the poor kid in an institution. Then you disappear without paying for the damage you caused. And then... You have the audacity to marry him again? Don't you even have an ounce of shame? <laughs> please, shut up. Don't lecture me. I'm through talking to you. Get Keith online. I'll talk to him directly. Okay, as you like. Nice talking to you. Talk with Keith directly and work it out. In court, that is. Huh? What do you mean in court? I want to talk to him directly. Are you listening? Hello? Mary! After that conversation, I blocked her from my lineup and let my brother Keith handle the rest. Because Karen ignored the payment request and the request from his lawyer, she was forced to discuss the matter in court. Eventually, she gave in and agreed to pay the amount requested, but... She broke her promise and failed to pay. As a result, courts ordered the compensation of her assets as well as the deduction of a percentage of her monthly salary. I also learned that she was evicted from her apartment along with her mother. She was left to live in a small storage area owned by the company she worked for. First, she runs away, then she wants to get back together again. And finally breaks promises. I'm really not sure what she wanted. <sighs> oh well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.